I've got this resistor with five resistors, I'm oh, sorry, this circuit with five resistors in it. And resistance one we're given as 5.0 ohms. Resistance two is 4.0 ohms. I'm choosing nice round numbers. R3 is 8.0 ohms. And this is more, more for the benefit of people that are watching that missed the lesson. 10.0 ohms and 6.0 ohms. And the challenge was to find the resistance of the circuit. The first thing that I would expect that most people would do would be to find the combined resistance in parallel for resistors 2 and 3. And find the combined resistance in parallel for resistors 4 and 5 and then treat this resistor, this resistor junction, and this resistor junction as being effectively three resistors in series. Good so far? Okay. So for the labeling purposes, we've already got an R1. Mm -hmm. I don't want to name this junction R total because then I'll also have another R total. So what I would recommend is you use letter subscripts. Call that RA. That junction will have a resistance that we'll call resistance A. This junction we're going to say has a resistance B. Okay. So in our initial calculations for finding the resistance of junction A and junction B, that's what I'll call them from here on out, we'd say 1 over RA is equal to 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. We could sub in our values and we'd get 1 over RA is equal to 1 over 4 ohms plus 1 over 8 ohms. And after doing 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 and then inverting the result, what do you get for RA? Yeah? Um, 2.66 repeated? 2.6 repeated? Okay. Ohms. So that's 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. And then the answer to that, flipped, inverted. Okay. For RB, we say 1 over RB is equal to 1 over wow. R4 plus 1 over R5. Sub in our values, 1 over RB is 1 over 10 ohms plus 1 over 6 ohms. And then we invert both sides. And once you've inverted it, what do you find the resistance for junction B to be equal to? Megan? 3.75 ohms. 3.75 ohms. Okay. All right, now if I want to find the resistance for the whole circuit, we could say, all right, our total, because it's a series circuit now made up of two junctions and a lone resistor, our total would be equal to R1 plus RA plus RB. Does that sound like a good idea? And so we get 5.0 ohms plus 2.6 repeated ohms plus 3.75 ohms. And somebody with a calculator, unrounded, what do you get for an answer for that one? 11.416 repeated. 11 repeated ohms, or approximately, we're going to say to two sig figs, well, it's only two sig figs, approximately 11 ohms. But people that told me 11.4 ohms before we started the recap, yeah, that, that, you're pretty close. Approximately 11 ohms. Now we're going to carry on with the idea of junctions, only we're going to not just find resistances, we're going to find voltages and currents, and we're going to also apply Ohm's law, okay? So between Kirchhoff's six laws, three for series, three for parallel, and Ohm's law, we've got seven equations that are going to govern all of these, uh, these multi-junction, we'll call them multi-junction circuits, okay?